Cancer, here are your messages for April 15th through the 30th. I'm using the Wild Unknown Tarot deck by Kim Krenz, and I'm kind of like doing a three stacker here. I'm going to pull from the top of each deck, okay, or each stack. All right, we've got the Six of Swords here, right? And then we've got the Nine of Wands, which I usually have been flipping them over individually. And then we have, what else? The Mother of Cups. Okay, so we're dealing with emotions, right? We're dealing with feelings because we've got your card here, which is the Mother of Cups, right? That's Cardinal Water. So it's feelings that are being stirred up. Obviously, you're a Cancer. I'm a Cancer Moon. Um... And this is talking about where the motivation is coming from. You know, your feelings are motivating you. This Six of Swords here is talking about the, um, you know, a situation getting better, right? Or maybe wanting to kind of like get to a better place, get to a better understanding in your mind, wrapping your head around something. Or just kind of like, you know, finishing out this thought process or this mental state that you're in. You're trying to, you know, process something. You're trying to move on from something in your mind. You know, Cancer, you're trying to move on from something in your mind. You're feeling like it's going to be a better day when you do that, when you're not thinking about this thing in the same way anymore. You know, you're trying to also be flexible in your mind uh, as you move away from that thing, because it does talk about how you evolve in your mind here. And how we evolve in our mind is that we gain perspective, you know, as time goes by. We learn a little bit more, right? And this is kind of like learning a little bit more and then being mature in your perspective because you have learned a little bit more. You have a little bit more experience. You have a little bit more wisdom, okay? You're a little bit more open-minded, this is talking about being, you have to be more open-minded in order to move forward or in order to get over something in your mind or in order to detach from that thing that once kept you in that mental state of not being able to get over whatever that difficulty was, right? And the Mother of Cups is here remembering that, knowing, right? But we have to understand that, you know... We've got to keep some level of detachment. We've got to detach our emotions from the truth sometimes, you know, because it can keep us very objective, right? And the mother of cups is cancer, but she's also one third of Gemini, you know, so maybe there's a Gemini energy here. Maybe there's a cancer energy here. Maybe there's Aquarius energy here. Maybe there's Virgo energy here for some of us or Mercury, right? Because this card is Mercury in Aquarius and this is exalted, right? So this is coming up with a better understanding or a better um process uh it, it, it is innovation it's something improving right so you have we have to sort of like be it's it's innovative for us to you know gain perspective you know because when we gain that perspective it sort of like helps us sort of travel a little bit further away from the closed-mindedness or from the narrow-mindedness from the five of swords that we experienced, right? So we're not being narrow-minded anymore. We're trying to, you know, expand upon this place where we were once narrow-minded. 
We're just opening it up a little bit more. We're gaining a little bit more knowledge. That perspective is helping us climb this ladder of moon being in Sagittarius. That moon in Sagittarius energy is very much related to Cancer, right? Jupiter, the planet that rules Sagittarius, is actually exalted in Cancer. Mercury is exalted in Aquarius. We're dealing with getting to the top here. We're dealing with progressions. There's been a progression in learning, in the philosophy, right? We've gained the knowledge. What have we been taught? What have we learned too? You know? And it talks about our foundations, our principles changing. You know? And this has happened quickly. We've gone up this ladder. We've made it to this point. We've plateaued here, Cancer. And I'm sure that a lot of us are experiencing a, a moment or a feeling of plateauing. Definitely where we are right now, you know. But this moon in Sagittarius energy does talk about the things that you can do to, to kind of like maintain some kind of jovial attitude, you know. We definitely want to maintain a positive attitude when we're, when we're experiencing the challenges of, of moving forward or progressing. You know, it only gets more challenging as we get older, as we move forward in life, you know, because we'll always look behind us and be like, oh, wow, that was so much easier. It was so much easier in those earlier stages. But as you get up higher yeah, it does get a little bit more challenging. But as you get up to the top, it, things become a little bit more illuminated too over time. Right? It's like the knowledge and the wisdom is shining light. You know, you're trying to get to that place of illumination. You know? So we've got to remember to detach ourselves. We've got to remember, remember how, how we once were, how we were before all of these things that we attached ourselves to, Mother of Cups. What she was before, you know, Gemini energy, detached, you know, uh, in an objective way, flexible, uh, inspired by things that, you know, maybe weren't innate to you, that type of thing. So remember that as you move forward, okay? Thank you, Cancer. Uh, if you'd like to get a private reading with me, email ProvidenceTarotKendrick at gmail.com. I'm still doing my 20 minute for $20 special, and I might even be doing a 10 minute for $10 special. I just haven't promoted that yet. You heard it here, Cancer. Um, okay, take care of yourself. Be healthy, stay home. Um, and be good to people, okay?